Hi everyone, today I'd like to show you a new feature for Cloth Dynamics 2 uh, it's called SDF Real-Time Textures and what's basically happening is in this new feature um, that the character body now can collide with the um, sorry, the cloth will collide with the character body and the character body is represented as an SDF as you can see here and the cool thing is that this also um, works. Um, oh, sorry. This works with animation or when the character is animated. So um, when we have a look here now, then you can see that the um, the 3D texture here, the S SDF representation gets updated every frame, and. Um, now we have um, here an um, address that's not affected by any skinning anymore or surface push and um, of course it, um, it can fall off but when we are ha have the right settings here also depending what we put in here um, we can increase the intensity or lower it um, with higher intensity here of this texture, um, it of course sticks better to the um, to the to the body. Um, but um, it also can some chittering can appear. And um, but all in all, this is a very is a good solution if you don't want to use or you can't use any blending um, then it's really great um, because we've, um, as you know here this, this is the actually that's the normal blending thing happening uh, is when we or as you can say it's also without the um, class simulation it is turned on class simulation turned on and yeah, you can try to pull this off as you can see here. This cloth is really um, independent of the body. Uh, we can put this back on here. And yeah, I have uh, again have a new uh, or uh, basically a very realistic. Um, Conditioning happening here, and yeah, um, you can play with different values. Sometimes uh, jittering gets reduced when you use the relaxation bit, or you you edit these values here. These the subdivision or iteration values will also affect how the cloth behaves. Um, you can also change these values here. Yeah, but I think that's really great now, this new feature. Um, you can, what you can also do is uh, adjust um, the texture in real time. So, for example, here this um, improves, maybe improves the performance a bit. You can also adjust this here. And um, There are also some other settings here. Um, if you increase them, quality gets better, but you have um, not so good performance. So, really depends what you are aiming for. I think um, these settings are these settings are good. And um, yeah, just have to have to test these out. Yeah. Normally, um, it works better if you have a uh, high iteration value, but yeah, as I said before, higher values might lead to jittering. You can also play with the damping here, and this also really helps with the with the with the quality. Um, yeah, so um. This basically also you you don't need to use these ABS colliders, but of course you can still use them. 
just a quick recap here, ABS are this automatic bounce spheres. Um, these ones here, um, they follow the bones, um, they are based on spheres that get generated here with the script and then you can here with this button export them, in this case we already generated them just export them to the solver here, then they are here then you can additionally use them because they are also very stable uh, they also help to keep the the cloth in its in its place and yeah I um, think the, the advantage with these um, spheres is that um, yeah, the, they don't affect the performance so much um, ac actually it depends when you have a lot of these spheres it will affect the performance but in this case we only have these uh, 34 cone cones and yeah you can you round cones here you can have a look you can also edit these cones uh, later here in this uh, um, as you can see you can move them around and adjust the position of them yeah uh, but yeah um, you don't really need them anymore if you if you want to go with the STF collision now and um, if you want to just turn off the STF collision here you can remove the texture and um, or this is, this is actually it's not the texture it's this uh, component here but it's called STF texture uh, texture um, yeah I think that's it uh, um, if you have more questions about this, uh, you can contact me via Discord. Um, I will post the link in the descriptions down below. So thank you and subscribe please to my channel. Thanks. Bye.